the first thing I should say is that you would notice the channel has gotten like rebranded entirely. It's Koi Azu now. Uh, well, it's Koi Mazu right now, but I need to change it because I accidentally messed up and I couldn't change the name again. The guy got stuck like that. I was like, oh, that sucks because I looked at I looked up um, Koi Mazu, uh, and the name is essentially just like it's a, it's Koi Kitsu, I believe. It's similar enough to that, that when you type it in, it's just like a porn game. <laughs> I was like, oh, that sucks. <laughs> the Bakoi Azu is like a pretty unique-ish name. So it's not a lot of that. Koi is a lot of things, but like not Azu. Uh, that name is just to represent, like the reason I want to change it is because I had the name Moonlight Detective on the channel um, since 2022. Um, 2021. And having that name, it was something I always wanted to change. When I very first started, I considered the name a placeholder to like figure out something better. It was a unique name, so that made it easier for the algorithm. Because having a unique name, someone typed in, it would like it would be the first channel that popped up. But at the same time, it wasn't something that I felt like I could really identify with this channel. If that makes sense, like I wasn't really relating to it. I, you know, I was trying to play detective games, see like if I felt into it. And I still really love detective games. Like I'll give that uh, name one thing of the channel. It. To give the name one thing gave me was it showed me a new love for certain games like those so i'm really glad i discovered that but in terms of like having it i just never felt like it was really me and so i wanted to have another name all throughout my time i'm, I'm gonna yap okay hold on let me try to speed up but all throughout my time online i always had the name the handle fish um it was just it's an old handle i got like 10 years ago or like 11 now even and it's just an old handle that I got from Xbox because it gives you a name and fish was always it. So I just started using fish everywhere, like absolutely everywhere. So I wanted to try to figure out something with that, but I know I just couldn't choose fish because there's 3,000 other channels with that name. And I want something like more unique than that. And my favorite fish is a koi fish. <laughs> so it's also based off the Toho character, which is my favorite Toho character, koi, koi Kishi. I didn't want to say that name wrong, so I'm just gonna say it like that. I'll put a picture, of course, but yeah. And so that's where the koi came from. And Azu comes from in Japan. There is this yokai. Uh, I can't remember the full name now, but the world fish essentially, which is like you have to do your own research on like what it is exactly. But it is the reason that earthquakes happen in Japan because it's like trapped under, uh, if that makes sense. And it kind of like shakes around sometimes and like makes earthquakes. So that's, and I always really liked that yokai. I was like, oh, it's really cool. Cause like a human down there guarding it to make sure, but like if they fall asleep or something, I believe it's like, sometimes their power will weaken. That's how the earthquakes happen. Cause it starts like trying to break out. So I always thought that was really cool. And I wanted to name something around that. So right now it's Koi Mazu, which is the second name of it. Cause it goes by like something else Azu and there's Oni Mazu. So I was trying to think out which names I should do for that. But I like Azu more anyway. I need to change it uh, in like 14 days. So that'll be changed. But yeah, so that's how the rebranding happened. And the reason I wasn't recording because I had a job for a while and like that gave me like no time to record. I recently left it for college stuff, of course. But I did have a job for like a while and I just I really didn't have time to record. And like, you know, I'm getting home from work. I was just exhausted. So I uh, couldn't record at all. But now that I'm like having more free time doing college stuff, I'm like, I really want to get back to court. Like I want to even strive for like two videos a day. I want to do more with that so yeah um that is everything hello everyone koyazu here and welcome to world of horror now at the beginning of the video it should have done a briefing of me explaining everything in another video game entirely because that recording got messed up i just fixed it and i was like you know what i i just did record it for an hour and it messed up i'm not gonna give up i'm just gonna jump into another game and record something else and this is what you're experiencing here this is World of Horror, like an RPG, just disturbing game, and it just looks really cool. <laughs> I've seen a little bit about it, but not much at all, because I'm going mostly blind. So. Oh god. I'll keep it normal. Like, I'll just keep it normal, how it is now. Just, just, just because that's how it started me out. 
first of the report is recommended that you start with spine chilling story. The school system's options for try more complex. Yeah, it's it's my first. City of Shiokawa, Japan 198X. <laughs> hey, something strange is happening in our town. Rogue figures can be seen gathering in the woods at night. People are going missing. Disgusting creatures are terrorizing the seaside. Well, that's not something strange. That's something I would recommend calling the government for, like, something. Web <laughs> technology progress in the modern era brings comfort, but also new unknown threats. Old gods, malicious algae beings who the Earth eons ago are awakening as reality starts to crumble. Air armed with clues, spells, and your dwindling sanity, you will escape mysteries across the city and it roams beyond. My old train slows down, stops at its last station. An old train slows down, stops at its last station. The end of the world is at the pan, and you're finally arrived, and you finally arrive in the doom Town. Straight razor, you find a new item. Hi, again. That's us. Um, that's our stats, I'm assuming. I know nothing about this game. You have four speed 90, plus 80 chance to hit. Avoid unnecessary cuts. Sweet! Okay. What is that? We got a fish. Use plus one reason. Tasty. You wanna you wanna put that in your hand? <laughs> Tasty. Alright. We've been following the weird cult for weeks now. Barely surviving the encounter with the skin hag at the nursery. It's a risk it's time, and you can't risk your time to save. Oh god, that sound made me uncomfortable. Uh, another boy from your school has disappeared. Rumor has it a terrible woman has returned from the grave, a woman with the widest smile and the sharp scissors. You knew your friend was up to something when he left you his notebook full of cryptic notes. When he left, no, when you knew your friend was up to something when he left you, yeah, his notebook full of cryptic, yeah, I read that right. You send her back where she belongs, he claimed. After he too disappeared, decided to study the notebook for clues. He details a ritual that claims to stop all the wicked. Tim stop. I don't know where I got all. Stop the wicked woman once for all. There it is. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? My work. Miss Friend has left your notebook. Blah, blah. Of course, so you need to perform a ritual to force her material form to appear in our dimension. Accomplishing this requires the first sigil of an Eldritch sigil, as you know, and then the lighting of holy candles. Just you can only hope your friend has left them around the school somewhere. I hopefully so. Um Okay, so we're just we're just in it. So as you know, I am sure you got everything. Um rebranding channel, this game about Eldritch beans, gods, and demons, I guess just attacking this village. No idea what's going on about this game. We're gonna figure it out together. So check out the lockers. Okay. Um, you started a new mystery. You need a tiny key, okay. Ooh, let me get that. I got that? Get that little razor out of here. The razor is better. <laughs> no idea how a razor is, you know, it doesn't matter. We got that. Oh, God. <laughs> what is that? Let's not look at that for too long. Uh, storage, that's good. Hey, let's explore the school. Investigating the corridor. As you enter the school gym, you notice black dog probably goes into the wall. And I, I, I just started the game, I don't have perks. It's your better judgment, you approach the doll, which you see what makes you guess before. The doll, okay, reason I think is our sanity. I'm pretty sure that's like a sanity meter. And I think if it goes down, I guess that's, that's just game over. I have no idea. That wasn't dull. Your sudden movement causes tiny black spires to flee, revealing a white half in the corpse. Next to the corpse, the school, you must hurry and find those items. Um, let's keep let's keep going, I guess. Call one with an ascending face to really stops you. I'll be your new biology teacher. You show me move stuff to my office. The, sub the creepy substitute may hand you some old books scary. Among the mute mundane titles, you find one called Extension of Mankind. You shudder, feeling teacher gaze on your back. 
Plus five XP, that was good. Uh, that was a luck check. Okay, yeah, um, okay, we're, we're just, we're in it. It's school, uh, what's outside? Uh, open the door, click on the handle, and drag the mouse mouse button to press. What? Was disturbed. On the roof, you find your you find the girl your friend was talking about. One hand she holds a bag, another hand a pair of scissors. We're in it. We're in the combat. Okay. You flip your straight razor open. Apparently, oh, let's go. Just, he's on it. Okay. These noises are disturbing me. Let's go. During each turn, you build a sequence of attacks and moves from the action ring B. Once you fill the sequence bar, press C. Press the launch sequence button to finish your turn. Wait. You build a sequence of attacks and moves. Uh, the action ring B. Once you fill the sequence bar, press the launch sequence. Got you. Okay, sweet. So let's let's fill it. Um, there's launch sequence. We got combat moves. Fill the white bar with combat moves and click the launch. Let's let's do the moves. Can't use any of these, but like, oh god, stab her, stab her! I can only kick her. Oh, I see. So I can't stab her for some reason. I have no idea why. But we're just gonna kick her three times and go. Okay, so I punched her minus two L. I missed the second one. I kicked her minus two L. Okay. Uh, where's her health? She has 8, I have 16, 15 powers, that finds a chance to... What's my power? I have no idea. We're, we're, you know, we're in it. No worries. Can I stab her? Like, I have this in my hand. There you go. Go. Oh, she weak, bro. Man, finish her. So I, I I don't have an attacks now. Um, I? What do you mean I? Oh, I see. Support actions, spiritual actions. Man, the game doesn't give you any tutorial, really. It was like, learn it. Um, I don't really think I should do anything with spiritual. I don't even need improv weapon like that. Take that off. I, the stabber. Okay. Found bless chalk, which you can use to draw the sigil in the ritual. You copy the as best you can on the buckle. Hopefully it'll be enough. Is that all? Let me... Can I check my... Wait. Okay. Okay. So, I guess I can perform the ritual, then I have what I need. It's not ready? I guess there's more to find, then. I, I thought that was all. I can just put this back in my storage. I don't need this at the moment. It could just weaken for a while, so I guess it's not what I need. So let's put that back. I, got, I don't know how to put this back. Dang it! This game killed me!
I literally had no idea how to put something in my storage. The game didn't tell me. Oh wait, maybe it's just here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we're good. We're doing good. Let's explore around school a bit more. First, let's get in the library. You hear a faint sound when we're walking outside the biology classroom. Inside is an old anatomy model. It's heart beating. The sight almost makes you sick. Oh, sound system is getting louder. You must hurry. Oh, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. I get the same events that just ruins my mental. Perfect. Okay, we got these. Okay, let's perform the ritual. Okay, yep, okay. Oh, okay, games don't seem to have any effect on my man. John Ron, what's it for you? Watch this twitching. His enormous is my beautiful. Okay, okay. She has 30 health. Okay, we're good. We're good. We can do this. We can do this. Chill. Well, I don't like. What does it do though? Like, like I can do this. I can do this five times. I need to do five battles after. But what will it do for me? Okay. Can't run. I can dodge. Let's go. We're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, we're... I, I ate my Thai IP. She's kind of hurting us here. Let's, let's kind of focus. <laughs> let's go. Oh. <laughs> you have to realize how disturbing that fight was in the context of the actual fight. The actual fight it was a high school boy in a room and with a demon just going at her with a razor blade and her stabbing him with scissors over and over until one of them fell. That was a really disturbing fight. <laughs> Ancient horror lies dead on the classroom floor. Boy dissolved into nothing, so he transfers up with large scissors. You stare at them, unsure what to feel. But it tells you you want to keep them, you need them. Very slowly, you pick up the scissors and your mouth widens in a smile. She. Turn me into her? My telling story of school is the ending B? Is it ending A? Mr. Pickens Town. And coming doom 4%. Let's continue your investigation. God, what is happening? And just put me back in the titles? Oh, that was game over, I guess. That was me losing because that happened. I need to use a save system or something. Why well, necessarily didn't lose, I guess, because I can do the other stories now. Oh, that's what kind of game this is? I didn't know that was that type of game. It's like random where I could do that. Okay. I could try and go for a different ending here, but for the sake of playing through the stuff, we'll just go for the other thing. Oh god, 
uh, I think I skipped something. Banish the other dimension a long time ago, Gozo has found a way to use mirrors to ensnare and teleport. It sprays straight through reflective glass. The glimpses behind your reflections are just the beginning of a real nightmare. Oh God's rule, resting at home raises doom. Backstory world of four. Character clues of perks, perk card only. There is us. We are, we have 20, man, we have way more reason than the other guy. All right, we have no weapons though. Um, first time playing select like this. <laughs> Wait, was I supposed to see this before? This is a tutorial. And this is the creative gamer. <laughs> I probably should have seen this before. So let's kind of see some stuff to understand what's going on with the game. Cast spells. Okay. Let's see you on the right. What for us? RPG elements here. Our six base stats. Move the cursor over them and learn more. Strength sets you to turn the outcome of defense, speed of combat things, dexterity sets you to defense. That's okay, thank you. What's knowledge? Yeah. And that's health. We're not very smart. We have charisma ish. And. Oh, so okay, that's my money. Not count for the four items limit. Okay. Weapons used in the BSC treats armor. Yes. What is it? What is in someone's mailbox? Okay, there's so much strange stuff. Take a peek through people? Oh my gosh. What is this game? Let's not do that again. <laughs> okay, um, let's take a bath. I right, hope you calm down to one your muscle. Temperature you said to. Take a cold shower. Oh, small XP boost? Hmm. Get small XP boost. Change clothes. Shop, I wish you did. I wish we're always so calm. Okay. Um. Let's play on Morbid Events. Been playing around your town for some time now. You mark down five and hoping that there is some connection. You tackle three. You can tackle these five mysteries in any order you want. Be wary, this will haunt you and influence you. Let's solve this. What's what's the easiest? Four endings in that? Contagious calm, we'll go that. More and more people fall unconscious cannot be awakened. People who try to wake these patients up only end up falling into the coma themselves. Owing the town's hospital has been dedicated to warding the coma. Is there anything connecting these people with the strange illness? Sorry. Let's mystery investigate the circle location as you progress, the location rules may change. Like, is there a gun store? <laughs> it's Japan, but come on. The corridor is flooded by a black sludge that slowly oozes from underneath the door of a chemistry classroom. A damp, moldy stench grows as you get closer. How are you going to get to the other side? It's damp and moldy, but there's you don't see anything in it. Slip check sex. You see a movement. Oh, you see a sudden movement in your ankle just in time to jump away from something trying to bite your leg. We have seven perceptions, so I'm glad we passed that. But yeah, we got to the other side. Sweet. Could it be patient zero? Are we in downtown now? No, we're saying go to downtown. 
Gosh, there's a lot of options that it just gives me. What's in the schoolyard? Um, man, all these guys look like squares. I'm not gonna lie to you. She look kind of cool. This bitch told me she saw it again. Saw what? That's not gossip. Who are you talking about? Who are you? I don't know what's the point of sharing a creepy story. Why would I even do that? Of course, to help you. What am I gonna put my hands up? Say, come on, let's go find these coma guys. I have no weapon. We can pre-program that what? Talk to me. What, what are you guys talking about? No, don't. What's your name? What's your name? Taru, Taru, don't talk to me no more. Don't even associate yourself with me. Appreciate it. Ever. Let's go. Yeah. What's in the library? Feel the gaze of a library. Many books you find here were donated at the incident. So we get a spell, but we get plus three doom. We can get some more XP. Let's make some nuggets. I feel like it'd be relevant. Hope all your work won't go to waste. So uh, let's 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 get a spell. Interpreting the old and uh, incomplete translation is a tedious task. Finally, you find the fragment you're looking for. So I got a spell. Flesh regrowth? What? That's disturbing, but let's go. Get this spell, it makes you more sane. And it's like, yeah, I'll get that from your mind. Okay, let's go to downtown. Let's investigate. How much is investigating the entirety of downtown? Experts are baffled by the sudden appearance of 20 stone statues lined up in a row in the middle of the park. Cast one spell without paying attention. Um. Okay, that's it. Um. Let's give those quite my second spells. So I have. How can we help you? Can you save this town? Freddy Krueger in the closet when going home. What sorts of disturbing stuff here? Request more police patrols. That'd be. Can I do that? Let's go. That helps. You, I, I lose eleven. So XP's not used to level up, but I use it to get other stuff. Interesting. Let's exit the station. Do I have any money? Like you got? Can I get a gun here? Oh, is it? Wait, this dog is selling? Okay, you know, I appreciate it. I think there is a dog like that in Japan. I'll take the flashlight, please. Wait, like, how, where do I put it? B. Okay. That's more perception for it. Okay. Okay, we're learning. So let's go check the. Uh, did they check the village? You had no idea the funeral you've been invited to would end with the guests slashing their hands to beat the deceased with their blood. You stay at the back, shocked by the how grotesque it is. Suddenly, gets turned heads in your direction. It's your turn now. Dang. Hey, let's. Investigate the village again. God, okay. What is happening? As you glance around, you notice that more and more people are wearing strange masks, like anything you've ever seen before. As you turn to your friends for reassurance, you notice that some that some also wear these eerie masks. The voice sounds muffled and distorted, and you can't shake off the feeling that they're not quite themselves. The hair the back of your neck stand on the wrong. You realize something's terribly wrong. The mask restaurants going through the store, filling their carts with food. It's radical, you know the food. The good price of our skyrocket. Realize you need to act fast if you want to have any chance of survival. I just lost money. 
An old man from the village hands you a packet. This should help you understand the illness. Sweet! Okay. What's this? Momentarily renders invisible partially visible. Dust has some smell. Sets enemy power to zero? Hey, let's go to the hospital. Let's, let's see what's going on in the hospital. This is the main place, after all. Well, I'll take an elevator to feel like something terrible is about The elevator door is open. The elevator door is open, revealing a black mass of eyes and teeth pouring into the elevator, biting and suffocating you. Later, you wake up in a doctor's office. The nurse discovers you lying unconscious on the elevator floor. This game is a fever dream. And then, like, we just move on from that. Got their name and address. Let's get out of here. When did I get a name and address? So I, I solved this apparently. Let's keep investigating the hospital. You met with your friend. You meet with your friend who has recently started her nose practice. You lazily chat on the roof of the sun of the hospital, watching the sunset. Then we have time to ask about the recent unhealthy events. Unearthly events. Yeah, talk to me. Stories about missing patients, Mr. Surgeons, and a strange infection are helpful, but they kill the mood. You must leave this place. So I have 37 XP right now. Am I finding anything here? Patient's house, Zero's house seems empty. You should search carefully. If this is wrong, you don't see anyone on the street. You could have sworn it was crowd just a minute ago. You better hurry out of here. Describing Star Village and instructions for a summoning ritual. This man, that man dabbed in magic. He found a journal. It seems that he tried to contact entity from them. Okay, yeah, sweet. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna go along with it. We got a journal. Um, so where exactly do I see that? Do I just look at downtown more? So there, no, there is a level up thing, but I can just get rid of XP. Okay. I don't have uh, that journal on me. Let's just go investigate downtown more. And puts this shirt around behind you stands a pretty woman in a sweater. Natural beauty. Yes, yeah, exactly what I need. You shudder seeing the weird woman reach your pocket and producing a nasty looking knife. Your pretty face. Mind if I borrow it? Oh, God. Oh, that's disturbing. Okay. I'm just showing you build the secrets of attacks and moves from the action. The ring. The yeah, I know that. Oh, I'm just, just stomp her out. So if I press. C? Or I guess it just means, I don't know what it means by that, but yeah, so, but, um, oh, goodness, enemy worries and rage, what, what is this thing? Uh, but yeah, find a, find a weapon, anything. Branch? Oh, I'm gonna... Oh, it's gonna be like a switch. I'm gonna beat the bricks up here with this branch. You gonna learn? Whoop her with that branch. I missed. Okay, prepare. <sighs> Let's go. Again, really disturbing. Middle of the street, just a woman stabbing a high school girl and her beating her to death with the branch. Got earrings. Aspiring model. She takes other people's face. Ooh, luck. No, Lux, Lux popped up a couple times. Oh, I'm learning now. I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm learning. Sweet. The quarantine wing is guarded closely. You must find a way to sneak through. Okay, what is Doom, though? <laughs> if that reads 100%, is that, like, also a game over? Should I go heal up? I don't have a lot of health. This department's cries is a direct reserve of the weird things happening in your town. You finally arrived to the doctor's office. Now, how can I help you today? Additional actions available on entry cards. Observing your every move. Hey, 
Painkiller. Let's go. Okay, I was I was trying to quick around. Boy, looking. I'm, I'm learning how this game works. Okay, but like that that didn't heal my health though. I guess well. Up to painkillers and let's get to work. Oh god, really? I just get dread like that? What is that down there? What are you doing? And sneak through the floor while avoiding the police and finally reaching the and finally reached the quarantine wing. Where all the cone patients were brought in. Their pulses were slowly weakening and their blood pressure dropping must hurry. There you go. Okay, let's go. The creature causing contagious coma of plaguing your time. Take a notice of you. you must finish the courage. Defend! No, this is an assassination. Let's go. Melts my memories? I'm trying to look for a better weapon. Find another branch in the hospital, apparently. About to die. Oh God! Can I beat him? I miss. Please, 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 please. Let's go. Oh. Will enter my life. Creature severed body falls on the floor and starts melting slowly. The remaining part slithers back to the now closed golden ceiling. You manage to catch a glimpse of the other side. The sight of the other side makes you fall to your knees. It was the creature's body you messed off. It was merely a finger. Wow, that's actually Wow. <laughs> that makes me feel weak. <laughs> that feels crushing. Shaken, you sneak out of the hospital. One thing is certain, though. It's the end of this weird illness. Curious case of a contagious coma. Ending it. Reward solving this mystery. Dreamy, the hospital is not safe. Knowledge is key, plus three experience. Through investigation, plus 15 experience. There's still hope. Minus five dooms. That brings the doom down. Tireless, plus reason, plus stamina. Days pass. Okay. Um. You got an exp. Ex oh, let's, let's have a look. So how does this work? You've advanced to the next experience level. Choose one perk and one stat upgrade. Where's my perk set? Oh, there it is. Start with plus one luck to natural life. To resting at home. Perception. Might go perception because I have a flashlight. So give it up to nine. My luck is... Where's my luck set? I have a look set. <laughs> I don't see it. I do. can't get a gun though. I see bullets up there. Uh, maybe resting at home. Like, I, I just need more help. I have to chew. I have to go for stamina. I'm gonna die. What? Oh god, stirs? Click your real effect. Dangerous bands of riders gathered around the downtown area. The police are hopeless. God. Let's go home. Sadie Mailbox find a small key. What does it do? Didn't I need a key to open a locker in the school thing? You are not currently investigating any weird mystery. We see these clippings. Notes collected in your room should point you in the right direction. Can I just go lie down for a bit? I don't see anything weird. That's first. I can save progress now. But we're not done yet. Let's see 
here. A ramen shop appears where there was once an alleyway. The ramen sold inside is made from former patrons, but can cure any health problems. Come on, come out here. I need y'all. Let's see. We can do this again. It's something different. I, maybe I shouldn't have done this because I have no idea how to get the other endings. I don't want to lose my character now. Where is my... Oh, wow. Goes in fury while she gets closer. Sharp scissors are slowly cutting through your cheeks as she asks you, Am I beautiful? You perish. Cause death kill by scissor woman. Level 2 difficulty. I mean, level 2. Difficult level skeptic. I shouldn't have done that. This time I A. Your playthroughs lasted 27 minutes. In this one, you managed to solve one mystery. You saw 11 new events, you counted 5 new enemies, you unlocked 2 new achievements. Next door, World 4, summon Old God Goisa. Warning, you will die at the beginning of your next encounter. What? I died at the beginning of my encounter? And that's back to starting the game again. Okay. I was not expecting this game to be like this at all. I did not know this game was like in this format. Type of a, like it's kind of a roguelike format, and I had no idea that's one of my favorite type of genres. But I did not know this game was like that at all. I thought this was just like a horror story type of game. And I'm, you know, I'm sure there's a story in it, but it's not. It's more of like surviving by being careful, but staying alive. And this is gonna take me a bit to beat. I can tell this is gonna be a couple episodes. <laughs> but yeah. I love this game. <laughs> this game is really disturbingly fascinating. Like, I like it a lot. It's something I was not expecting to get into, but I really enjoy it. And um, I'm just excited to see where it takes me. Uh, I, I want to get another ending for that scissor lady. I just have no idea how to get another ending. But yeah, we'll, we'll try some different things. We'll try. I didn't want to make it too long for the first episode at least. That way, like, the scene is set if you guys like it. Uh, as you know, new channel name, new branding, and all that. But yeah, wow, we're we're gonna beat this. This is gonna take me a piece of master. But I promise you, we're gonna beat this. Anyway, I don't want to have too long. I do hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I want to let you know that I am back. I'm gonna be trying to do at least one video a day, or at least one a week. I kind of said that in my last recording. I gotta remember to say everything still. But uh, I want to be more consistent with stuff. So just let you know that's gonna happen. I have a lot of games I want to try out, and a lot of big projects I've been having. Plan. But yeah, yeah, uh, this was World of Horror, and I'm gonna be back. Hope you guys enjoyed this one too.